Hey guys, welcome to Film World. Today I'm going to explain a romantic drama film called Fifty Shades Darker from 2017. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. After breaking up with Anna, Christian's nightmares about his horrible childhood have returned. Meanwhile, Anna starts a new job as an assistant to editor Jack Hyde at Seattle Independent Publishing. She receives flowers from Christian, who wishes her luck with her new job. Anna attends the photography exhibition of her friend Ozzy. When she goes there, she finds that he used her portraits in the exhibition without her permission. When she confronts him about that, he says that if he had asked, she would never agree with him. As they are talking, the art director called Ozzy and tells him that all portraits of Anna have been purchased by one person. Of course, it's Christian. Christian comes toward her and greets her but Anna asks if he bought all the pictures. He confessed that he doesn't like it when other people look at her. He says that he is here for her and wants to talk with her in private. Anna refuses at first but when Christine insists and says that he's never done this before with anyone else, she agrees to have dinner with him. When they go out of the exhibition, he suddenly kisses her in the alley but Anna soon pulls back and says that she cannot do this. They go to a nearby restaurant where Christian says that he would like to renegotiate the terms of his contract. He assures her that what happened last time will not happen again. But Anna says that even though she asked him to show her, he was enjoying seeing her in pain. He says that he's working on his problems. When she asks him about his problems, he doesn't say anything at first but soon tells her about his birth mother who was an addict and died because of an overdose. After hearing his reasons, Anna agrees to be with him and this time they both aim to for a vanilla relationship. After dinner, Christian drops her at her apartment and says goodbye after giving her a gift. The next day at work, Jack invites Anna to the bar. When Anna comes out, she is approached by a mysterious girl in front of her office. It seems like she knows about Anna but soon Jack comes out and pulls Anna away. As they are talking in the bar, Christian comes in and is suspicious of Jack's true intention when he catches Jack acting a bit flirty toward Anna. He introduces himself as Anna's boyfriend then takes Anna away. She scolds him for his possessive behavior and then takes him grocery shopping. Later they go to Christian's place for dinner where Anna finds out that Christian is thinking about buying Sip. So she asks him not to interfere in her career even though Christian says he just wants to move into publishing. That night after dinner, they sleep together despite their promise of taking things slow. The next morning, Anna brings him juice to the bed. She tries to give him back a check and when he refuses to take it back, she tears it apart but Christian immediately calls his secretary to transfer $24,000 to Anna's account. Later, they go out for breakfast and Christian tells her that his parents are holding a charity ball and he wants to take her with him. Anna declines the offer saying that she doesn't have a a perfect dress and her hair is not good. But Christian assures her that he will take care of those things. At the restaurant, Anna sees the mysterious girl again and when she tells Christian about it, he says that he will handle it. After they are done with breakfast, Christian brings her to a hair salon but when Anna finds that the salon is owned by Alina, Christian's first dominant, she storms away. When Christian catches up to her, she asks him why he takes her to someone who absolutely abused and seduced him but Christian says that their relationship ended years ago and they are friends now. Anna asks if he brought his other sub here too and if he want to get Elena approval but Christian denies all these allegations. Anna then asks if the girl they saw was one of his sub and when he agrees she demands an immediate explanation. Christian returns her to his apartment and shows her the file of a girl Girl named Layla Williams. He informs her that she was his sub a while ago and she got married but her husband died which affected her mental health and she is now following him again. After getting an explanation, Anna asks if he has the same file for her and demands to see it. When she sees her file, she finds that Christian has all of her information. Anna says that what Christian is doing is ownership and not a relationship. She says that she is trying to understand 
understand him but it is difficult when he keeps doing these bizarre things and won't let her touch him. Christian asks Anna to come to his room with him where he asks her to touch him despite his fear of being touched by someone. He only let her touch his shoulders and said that these were his boundaries and Anna was the only one to whom he was permitted to do this so she accepted it happily. Later, they go to the charity ball that Christian's parents are holding. At the ball, she meets Christian's stepmother Grace and his sister Mia, who were both happy. She is back with Christian. After attending the auction and spending some intimate time with Christian, Anna goes to the bathroom to fix her makeup where she is approached by Elena. Elena says to her that she was the one who led Christian toward his truth and without her, he would be in jail. She says that Anna is not the first woman who is hoping to save him, but she will fail because he needs a submissive in his life. Elena says that Anna can't give him what he wants and if she wants him to be happy, she will let her go. Anna is angry at Elena's words and says that whatever happens between her and Christian is not her business. Anna then goes to Christian and says that she wants to leave. When they reach home, they find that Anna's car has been vandalized. Christian brings Anna to his private yacht, saying that the apartment is not safe for them tonight. On the boat, Anna asks Christian to be open with her and he tells her that his mother died for an overdose and he was with her dead body alone for three days. He says that when they brought him to the hospital, he met Grace there and she has been a great support to him. Anna is happily that he finally trusted her enough to tell her about all this. The next day when Anna goes to her office, her boss Jake says that she has to go with him to New York to attend a book festival. When she talks to Christian about the sudden plan, he says that he doesn't want her to go with Jack and tells her that Jack's last three assistant quit it only 18 months without any prior note. Anna tells Christian that she will go with him if she wants to visit New York. At the end of the following day, Jack asks her about her plan for going to New York but when she says that she cannot come to New York along with him, he tries to take advantage on her. She runs away after kicking him out, tells Christian about the incident as he is waiting for her. When they are back at Christian's apartment at night, he tells her that the Jack has been fired from the job due to the Christian's complaint. Christian then asks her if she still wants to keep her job and when Anna says that she cannot stay locked in, he offers to let her move in with him. Anna says that she needs some time to think about this. The next day in the office, the Liz asks Anna to attend a meeting with the senior editor on behalf of Jack. She attends the meeting where they approve of her new ideas and names her acting editor in place when she tells Christian about the new position. He says that they need to celebrate. They go out for the dinner and Anna tells him that she will move in with him. The next day, Christian picks up Anna from her office and brings her to her apartment so she can pick up her stuff. She asks Christian to stay downstairs as she doesn't need much time. But when she goes to her apartment, Leela is there waiting for her. Anna tries to talk to her politely but Leela takes out a gun and says that Christian is different from Anna, even though she loves him too. Just as Anna is trying to calm her down by saying that Christian still loves her too, Christian comes in. He acts as Leela's dominant and easily takes her gun away. He asks Anna to go out of his apartment with Taylor, but she is devastated by his behavior and goes out alone. Later, she comes back to Christian's apartment after hours of wandering around. Christian scolded her for her irresponsible behavior as he was searching for her. Anna tells him that she is scared after seeing his behavior earlier because he needs a submissive in his life and she will never be able to provide that. Christian begs her not to 
leave him again. He confesses that he is a sadist and likes to inflict pain on the woman who knows like his birth mother. But he says that he will stop because she means the world to him. Anna decided to stay with him and the next morning he proposes to her but she says that she needs some time to answer him. The next day, Christian goes on business trips and pilots his helicopter. When flying over the mountain, his helicopter's engine fails and he makes an emergency landing in dense woodland. A large-scale search and rescue operation follows. Anna hears the news about the accident and goes to his apartment where she waits for some news about him with his family. While Anna anxiously waited for the news, he made it home safely. Anna realizes how much she loves him and decides to accept his marriage proposal. At Christian's birthday party, he announces his engagement with Anna, which infuriates Elena. Elena accuses Anna of being a gold digger. Anna orders her to stop meddling in their relationship. Christian orders her to leave. Grace overhears the conversation and slaps Elena before demanding her to leave the house. Later that night, Christian formally proposes to Anna the time with her ring on, and she accepts. As fireworks exploded in the sky, Jack Hyde watches the celebration from a distance and quietly warps revenge. To watch more explanations of this kind of movies, click on the videos on your screen and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below and lost. Thanks for watching.